just as in the case where a had real eigenvalues, we now wonder what happens if a has complex eigenvalues to the equilibrium point in the origin. We will learn that, just as in the real case, we can classify the nature of the origin according to the eigenvalues of a. In this video you will learn how this is done and why this is the case. So again we have our x prime equals a times x. Now a has complex eigenvalues a plus or minus i. Pick one of them, so pick an a plus bi. Then you can form your matrix P and you know that your solution can be written as e to the power a t and here a rotation matrix. So what is going to happen? Well this P over here doesn't do too much. It just changes your uh, basis axis. The main fun the main role is played by this e to the power a t and by this rotation matrix. We assume that we have complex eigenvalues, so B is non-zero, so we definitely have some rotation going on. So we are going to rotate. What can we have? Well, first of all, we can have A negative. If A is negative, uh, we get an e to the power, say, minus t, or e to the power minus 2t, or something like that, and everything becomes smaller. So we are rotating towards the origin. So you get something like this. So rough sketch. So there we go. And this is called a stable spiral point. We also can have, of course, uh, a positive. In that case, we have like a equals 2, 3, 5. We get something like e to the power 5t, which is getting bigger and bigger. So suppose we start somewhere like here. We're still rotating due to our rotation matrix. And we get something like this. We are still rotating, but now we are going outwards. This is also called a spiral point, but now an unstable spiral point, because we get further and further. Well, we've done a smaller than zero, a bigger than zero. Of course, we can also have a equals zero. What happens then? Well, e to the power 80 drops out. We just have a pure rotation. So we rotate. We do not get further, uh, further away. Uh, uh, or, or uh, closer, it's something like more like an uh, ellipse, something like, oh, something like this, oh, supposed to be an ellipse or a circle. So that's what we have in that case. We're just going round and round. And in that case, our equilibrium point is called the center. So those are the three possibilities if we have complex eigenvalues for our phase space 